Hi everybody, this is Robert Palmer from Honest Code. Welcome to our video tutorial on how to use JumpChart, a collaborative content editing tool that we're going to use to help you organize and collect your site's content before we import it into WordPress. Hopefully, I have set up for you an area in JumpChart and you've received your invitations to get started. If there are other people you would like to invite to JumpChart, such as your clients or other associates, just let me know. To start with, I've probably used a sitemap or other document that you've given me to set up your jump chart area with the bones of your site. Jump chart shows you the structure of your site irrespective of any design that may have already been done or hasn't been done yet. We can use it to focus very precisely on your site's content without having to worry too much about fussing with the design elements, colors, and typography. You'll notice we have a hierarchy of pages here to the left. Our top level pages are bold, and you can see their respective subpages by clicking the disclosure triangle next to the page title. So today, I'm going to show you the ins and outs of using JumpChart to edit your content, add pages, remove pages, and add photos. Let's start with that first task, editing your content. If you hover over the text area in JumpChart, you'll notice a little flag following your cursor around that says Edit. Go ahead and click that flag to edit your content. In this example, I'm going to change this placeholder text with some text that I have here on the clipboard and just paste it into the text area. You can paste text from Word, from a plain text editor, your browser, or pretty much any other application on your computer. You can also type directly into the text area if you prefer. You'll notice the flag on the left is turned into a formatting palette. We can use this to make items bold and italic, for example. The formatting palette will insert asterisks, underscores, and other plain text characters when you select the formatting you want. JumpChart uses the Textile plain text syntax for formatting. So if you're familiar with either Textile or Markdown, you'll feel right at home. With the formatting palette, you can also add links. Simply select the text you want to link and choose either internal or external link. If you choose external link, it will surround your text with quote marks, and you can insert a URL after the colon here. If you choose internal link, it will provide you with a list of other pages in your site, and you can select one. These links will carry through when we import your content into WordPress. You can also add subheadings to pages by selecting Heading, the level of the heading you want, and then typing your subhead. The number after H here is the level of the heading you're inserting. H1 is the top level, H2 is the next level, down, and so on. You can add things like bullet lists by placing asterisks in front of individual lines. You can also experiment with some of the other objects in the list too, and if you have any questions about how the formatting palette works, just select Help. When you're done making your edits, just click Save underneath the main text area. So, say for example we want to edit a product page of ours. Our company here has two different kinds of products, flux capacitors and warp coils, and we need to add a new one, an X-type flux capacitor. So we add a page by first clicking the new page's parent, in this case flux capacitors, and then clicking add subpage. Here we type the page's title, X-type, and click add. You notice it put the page at the end of the list of subpages, and since X comes before Y, we want to shuffle the order of these pages. You can do that easily by clicking Reorder Pages and then dragging the page into position. When you're done reordering your pages, click Save in the green bar. For our new flux capacitor, we're going to paste in some content that we have, and we're also going to insert a picture. To do that, just click the Files tab. Then click Browse or Choose File to select an image file from your hard disk. Then we're going to insert the name of the picture and click Add File. Clicking Save shows our picture in line with the rest of the content. When we import your site's content into WordPress, the image will come along too. Now, let's try removing a page. Say, for example, that you don't want to have a page for both the privacy policy and the terms of use, but instead want to include all that content in one page. Fair enough. What we need to do first is delete one of the pages and then rename the other. So, first I'm going to delete the terms of use page by clicking on it and then clicking Remove Page at the top of the screen. It'll ask me if I'm sure, and yes I am, so I'll say OK. Now I can edit the Privacy Policy page by clicking on it, and I'll rename it by clicking Rename. I'll type a new title, and click Save. It will automatically update the title on the page too, if you have one. 
If you make a mistake and want to revert to a previous version of a page, just click the Versions tab down below and select the version you want to restore by clicking Promote to Current. Now that we've done most of our editing, we have a couple of tools at our disposal to preview the site. At the very top of the page, we have Sitemap View, which shows a structured tree view of our site. The tree is clickable and expandable, so this view is an excellent way to quickly navigate your site and find what you're looking for. There is also a wireframe view, which is like a little preview of your site, again with no design. It puts all of your pages on the left, and you can navigate your content as if it were a real website. This is handy if you need to share your content with other people who don't need to edit your content, but only view it. So, there you go. Those are the basics of using JumpChart. Of course, if you have any questions about what we've covered today, please feel free to post a message to Basecamp, email me, or give me a call. I'm happy to walk you through any issues you might have. Thanks very much for watching this tutorial, and good luck with your editing.